Many people have concerns about Windows 10 because of privacy issues. Windows 10 tells Microsoft about typing information, uh, user activity, telemetry, tracking of web information, uh, search history, and so on and so forth. But there are applications that can be used to alleviate some of your worries about privacy issues. And one of the best is, oh no, shut up, 10. And here's where to find it, how to download it, and how to use it. So here's the first source that I like to use to download oh no, shut up 10. Majorgeeks.com, my favorite freeware site. If you go to the search bar, type in oh no, shut up, you'll get this page. From here, hit download. And the download will start automatically. Not a very large download at all. Save. And then you can run it from your download folder. But here's another source that you can use. And of course, here's another source for oh no, shut up 10. The oh no software.com site itself. If you go to this page, uh, you can scroll down and it'll give you some information about the application, how to use it, and to download it, hit the download bar, and then open it up from your download folder. Now, I'll put links for these two sources in the information below. Now, I've put Oh No, Shut Up, the app into a folder in my documentations labeled portable apps. Because this is a portable application, you don't, you do not need to install it. Uh, all you need to do is double click it. We want it to allow this app to make changes your, to your device. Yes, of course we do. And we have files, actions, view, help, if you go to Actions, hit Apply Only Recommended Settings, or you could hit Recommended and Somewhat Recommended Settings, or Apply All Settings. Now on the bottom, you can see that you have Recommended. The ones with the green checks are the Recommended Checks, or the Settings. Limited are the ones that will be checked along with the recommended and somewhat recommended settings. And no will be checked if you hit apply all settings. So in my case, I want to apply only the recommended settings. Hit that. Do you want to re create a restore Point, of course. Say yes. And once that's completed, just take a few seconds. And you'll see that all the yes recommended are now enabled. Disabling the privacy settings that are default in Windows 10. And we close it. Here's a little note telling you that when Windows updates, at times it may ch make changes to your settings. So after Windows updates, it's always a good idea to go back into this and make sure that all your recommended settings are back to being disabled. So yes. We know that now. Settings which are changed require a system restart, so you need to restart your system before these settings will take in effect. Close. And restart your system, and all your worries about privacy settings in Windows 10 
will be alleviated and you can feel better about it. And uh, be sure to subscribe below, hit like, and we'll see you next time. Thank you.